Setting a New Year's resolution is a great way to start your year. After the holiday stress that we usually experience and uh, the onset of the winter season in which our energy decreases, um, we need a boost. And setting goals and having a plan to work towards those goals gives our brain that energy. It promotes mental and physical energy, which gets us energized for the year. Well, it's estimated actually that about 90% of people don't complete their New Year's resolutions. And about half of them quit by February. And I think it really comes down to planning and deciding what your goals are. So again, the most common things are people want to lose weight or quit smoking or start an exercise plan. These are really good goals, but they're also very big goals. And I think that's the main reason. And so people need to look at it more like a marathon rather than a sprint and to break those goals down into smaller pieces. I would recommend that people have a few different resolutions. And the reason, again, is that if you have one, you become so focused on it, you can become overly focused on it and overly absorbed with it, um, so much so that your brain gets bored with it. So if you have two or three things that you're working on, your brain is less likely to get bored with that activity or that goal, and you're more likely to maintain motivation to complete all three of them. And make the resolution something really different, something maybe you don't think about all the time, um, such as volunteerism, such as being mindful, such as being grateful. I, I think you're gonna have a lot better outcome. So for example, a lot of people say, I don't wanna smoke anymore. I want to quit eating fast food. Well, if you tell yourself I'm not going to think of smoking or I'm not going to smoke, I'm not going to eat fast food. Your brain isn't processing the not, it's only processing the image of fast food or smoking. So you're programming your brain to do exactly what you don't want to do. So alternatively, you need to tell yourself exactly what you need to do, what you want to do. That is, I'm going to eat healthy foods, healthy fresh veg vegetables lean meats, I'm going to breathe clean, fresh air that's healthy for my lungs, and now you're programming a positive response from your brain. I think the buddy system is a great idea. I definitely think that finding someone else who shares some of your goals, and I'm gonna use the word goal rather than resolution, and then working together over the year is, is really gonna improve outcomes. It makes it more fun, too. Rewards are extremely important. Uh, we, as adults, we so often fail to give ourselves rewards enough. Uh, so set smaller goals within your larger goal and make sure that you reward yourself with some enjoyable activity, something that is meaningful and purposeful for you. Don't give up on yourself. Don't feel discouraged. Um, everyone experiences this at some point. Just get yourself back to focusing on what it is you want to accomplish, who it is you want to become, what does that look like. Just get back on track have mental reminders around your house, um, create sticky notes or, or have reminders for you to stay focused on those goals and just never lose, never lose sight of it. Every day is really a new start. Being January 1st of a new year is sort of an artificial um, start. Every day we wake up is a potential for a new start. I would say really think about what you choose as a resolution and think about the meaning of that. I think it all starts at the beginning. I think be realistic and think outside the box. Let's not put 
diet, smoking, and exercise as our top. Those, again, should be something we're committed to as a lifelong path. Think of something that normally you wouldn't think of, but that you know gives you gratification or that, that moment of happiness and make that your resolution.